He has some pretty awesome natural camouflage. It's me and the tactical dog are scoping out the property line. Just gotta go up this hill a little ways. He's out in front, so we ain't gonna see no deer. <laughs> he's uh, very camouflaged, but he's not very stealthy. Well, I didn't see nothing. Actually, a pretty good day to be uh, slippy. It uh, it rained for a couple of days, and it's really windy. And even though I'm talking, I'm not sure how far my voice is going to carry. I lost the dog. I don't know where he's at. But I'll figure I'll slip around to my favorite spots down here and look around. And then I'll probably just head back up to the house because the sun's shining and even though it's 40 degrees, I can get a little bit more work done on the roof so I don't fall off. <laughs> I can do without the wind. That wind chill factor is tough. I'm not completely acclimated yet, though we haven't turned on our heat. I burned two fires last week. Uh, just uh, small fires to warm up the house just a little bit before bedtime. Second time I did it was a mistake. Um, we got it pretty warm in the house on accident. It was just a, I just light a fire and let it burn out. And it's enough to warm up the house usually. And uh, the second night uh, it got up in the mid seventies in the house and it was just a little too warm to be, to be sleeping comfortably under all your, your winter covers. So yeah. I'm just gonna slide around here a little bit and look at some of my favorite places to visit and call it a day and probably go back to work. That's unreal. I just stopped, and, and you're not gonna believe me, but I just stopped because I was looking at this patch of grass right here. This is the neighbor's field, or the neighbor's land. But I was looking at this grass right here because I swore I thought I saw some movement. And I was just thinking about something that I read about uh, how when you look, uh, if you look farther for deer, they're actually, uh, they could be there. They're very stealthy. I mean, you know, this is how they survive. But I looked and I looked and I looked and I almost turned my camera on because I was positive I was going to see something there because I thought I saw some weird movement. I looked back up over this way because I thought, man, there's something here. I know there is. And just as soon as I looked down at my camera to pick it up, I heard the thump, the thump. And right over there, white flag. So there's a buck laying down over there in that grass, which I don't blame him. This is uh, coming back down my property line here. There's a big creek down here and there's water. So he's got everything he could hide. He didn't go far. I don't hear him still running. So he's probably right over there watching me. But I thought that was pretty awesome that I was thinking that and my instincts were that he was there. And then uh, all he all he needed was that that split second for me to look away and he was up and gone. Impressive animals for sure. I thought I'd share that. Even though I don't think I got that flag and that I tried to throw the camera up real quick. I don't think he went far. I thought that was impressive. It's just like something was telling me, man, he's right there. <laughs> I sat here and recorded that whole thing.
and there was a doe in there too. She just jumped up and ran. I threw the camera up to record it and I was looking at myself. That gummit Hobie. <laughs> Some big bad hunter I am, huh? We're not too far from the house, so the persimmon tree. I really think the persimmon tree is drawing them. Because persimmons are really good right now. But the coyotes are active too. And they don't come up around the house. Food for thought, I guess. So they're right here. This is a an American beauty berry, I think is what they call it. I'm not sure, but I know that deer like it. It's one of the top 10 favorite foods of deer, according to some article I read somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know if you can see over there. I'll zoom in. But on that side of the fence, there are tons of it. So if they're just hanging out here, they've got water. They've got their favorite food, or one of their top 10 favorite foods. They've got plenty of cover in this little thick area. I don't see why they won't be back other than man being in here messing with their area. But they're obviously right here. A big pile of... I say big pile. There's a pile of deer turds right there. So yeah, we know where they're hanging out. I got no interest in running them off my property. I want them to stick around. Maybe we'll be cool because tactical dog just went off. Let's see if he don't run something by us. Maybe some of them went that way and he's scaring them back. Well, no deers. I mean, I got to see some deers, but you guys didn't get to see the deers. It always seems to work out that way, doesn't it? And why Yappy here was barking is because Big Sister came home. Thank you. Big Sister came home for lunch. And so we had ourselves uh, some lunch. And now I guess we're going to get back to working on the roof because it's really not that bad out here right now. The wind's still blowing a little bit, but I got a little bit more to do, so that's what we're going to do for the rest of the day. Cats. <laughs> Alright, just a bunch of jibber-jabbering on this one, so sorry. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a good one.